In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your favicon in Joomla. This video is going to be broken up into two parts. The first part will be creating the favicon, which you can skip if you already have one by going to the timestamp that's shown on the screen right now. Uh, and then the second part is going to be how to actually add that into your Joomla site. To create your favicon, you can come over to this website here uh, called favicon.cc. This is a free website you can use where you can actually draw your own one for free um, in here. Uh, they, I, personally, I wouldn't do, th do it this way, but I just thought this would be the best way to show you. I would use Photoshop and create it uh, there. But there's a few cool things you can do in this. Um, so I think this is the best solution. So basically, you can choose your color over here. Um, if, if your color was red, you can just click and drag and, and create each individual pixel like that. Um, you know, and we could do a sort of W shape. You see how I went over a little bit here on one I don't really want. If you right click on that, it deletes it off. Um, trying to get this sort of symmetrical, though obviously it's not a huge deal. Here we go. So we could do something like that, which I know you're probably thinking right now looks horrendous, but this is just an example. I'm sure you guys can do something a lot better. Um, so once we do that, so if you're happy with what you've created here, and if you know if it looks like this, hopefully you won't be happy with it. But you know, um, if you come down here and then click download favicon, and then just go ahead and save it, and then that's how you create your favicon. The second thing that this is really good for is you can actually import an existing image. So if you have a logo um, that you want to use for your favicon, which is a pretty good idea you can actually use this free website here to import it in. So I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so if you click on import image, and then you click on browse, you can then click on your logo. So I'm gonna use the McDonald's logo for this example. And it comes out in here like this. Now obviously it don't look great because we're massive here, but when you actually come down to here and you look at how it's gonna look when it's on your website, uh, it actually looks pretty good to me. So then you can download it and stick it on there, um, which we will do for this test one. So McDonald's, if you're watching this, don't sue me. I'm going to take it off afterwards. Um, but yeah, let's download it and move on to how you actually add it into your Joomla site. Unfortunately for this next part, we are going to have to go into the um, files of the website, which might be a little bit daunting for some people. But I do feel like it's fairly safe for you to go in here because uh, as long as you don't really mess with any other files, if you're just you know uploading this one file, I don't see how it can break anything. Um, but obviously, be careful. Don't delete stuff. Don't you know do anything other than what I'm about to do if you don't really understand it. Um, you know. So, okay. What we have to do is we have to go to the root of your website. So I've gone to the back end of my test website that I've set up already, um, and this is the root. So from here, if we navigate through, if we go to uh, templates, and then if you find the template you're using, I believe I'm using this one, but I'm not actually sure to be honest. Yeah, this one. Uh, you'll see that there's actually a favicon in here already, and that's the one that's creating uh, on uh, this site. That's the one that's creating this Joomla one up here, and that's the one we want to get rid of, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload a different favicon over the top of that to get rid of the existing one. So if we go into, so if we open up this this file manager, uh, sorry, FileZilla, and then we go we come into our files here. Here's where I saved the um, the McDonald's favicon I created earlier. So if we can just drag that in, drop it into here, then we get this error come up saying basically that the file already exists because there's already a file called favicon.ico. Uh, we do want to overwrite it, so don't need to change anything here, just click OK. And when that's done, if we then go to our website and refresh, you'll see nothing has happened because you need to, um, I had to do a Control F5. So that was caching. So yeah, basically that is all there is to it. So when you do that, um, everybody else will be able to see it. You might not be able to see it for a little while uh, if your browser's cached it. As you say, we've got the little McDonald's one up here now, so that's great. 
And now I'm going to go and delete it so I don't get in any trouble with McDonald's. But hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more Joomla videos. And if you have any questions on Favicons and Joomla, make sure to drop it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.